I have a big surprise for all of you. Trust me, it will make your life easier. What did all of you fear at school and continue to fear while preparing for competitive exams? Maths, right? An average student never liked maths. But there is an ancient Indian knowledge base that can make mathematics easier. No, I'm not playing a cruel prank. Mathematics can actually become a cakewalk with Vedic mathematics. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tribhuman. In this video, I will tell you all about the genius of Vedic math and how it was erased from the lives of Indians. Let's begin. The state of Gujarat is setting a new milestone in the Indian education system with a transformative move, that is, introduction of Vedic mathematics in school education from the next academic year. Education Minister Jitu Waghani made the big announcement on the occasion of the birth anniversary of renowned Indian mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan. With this, India has come close to embracing an ancient knowledge base that makes arithmetic problem solving easier and faster. Vedic mathematics is an ancient Indian method that makes mathematics simpler by integrating arithmetic operation into 16 sutras or formulae. The 16 formulae were compiled by Jagat Guru Swami Sri Bharati Krishna Tirthaji Maharaj in a book published by him in 1965 and are believed to be a part of the Parishista, which is known as appendix of the Atharva Ved. By reducing the steps involved, it cuts the time needed to solve complex mathematical problems. It also creates multiple approaches for solving problems and obtaining an answer. I understand that it is hard for you to trust what I am saying. Having spent a major part of student life solving complex mathematical problems, it becomes difficult to accept that there can be a quicker way of solving mathematics. So, let me give you a small demonstration. What is 93 multiplied by 97? Well, most people would pick up their calculators or start using the conventional method of multiplying the two numbers, which will take some time. Okay, so now we use Vedic mathematics. Both 97 and 93 are smaller than 10 to the power 2, that is 100, right? 97 is smaller by 3 and 93 is smaller by 7. So multiply 3 and 7 which is 21. Now subtract 93 by 3 or 97 by 7. And in both cases it will be 90. So you get 90 and 21. Just join the two results and you get 90, 21. That's your answer. You can also use calculator if you want to cross check. Now we take 105 and 108. This time you have two numbers that are greater than 100 to the power 2. 105 is greater by 5 and 108 is greater by 8. 5 multiplied by 8 is 40. This time you add 8 to 105 or 5 to 108. That is your choice. You get 113 in either case. Join the two results. That is 11340. Mathematics just became easier, right? Vedic mathematics has an answer to all your complex arithmetic operations. I, of course, picked up multiplication, which is one of the slightly easier concepts. But Vedic mathematics is actually quite simple and more evolved than British or modern mathematics that tends to be somewhat confusing and chaotic. Just like yoga, Vedic mathematics is a part of our ancient knowledge system. It is our cultural heritage and it is time that we embrace it. However, till date, it has not been promoted in a big way. Vedic mathematics was never introduced as a part of the regular curriculum in our schools. In fact, school kids rarely hear about Vedic mathematics. They get to know of it only in their teenage years when they start preparing for competitive examinations. Until now, Vedic mathematics has been confined to private coaching centers that not everyone can afford. But if you start teaching Vedic mathematics and kids get to improve their arithmetic problem solving abilities at an early age, then India can create a huge talent pool of students with brilliant mathematical skills. Due to the colonial hangover and a sense of inferiority complex in the Indian education system, we continue to study mathematics as a subject invented by the West. Well, this is far away from the truth. Mathematics on the Indian subcontinent has a history of 3000 years. Countless Indian generations have been solving complex arithmetic problems and it is no wonder that the first recorded use of the number zero happened in India. India has made seminal contributions to the study of trigonometry, algebra, arithmetic and negative numbers. Indian mathematician Bhaskar had, for example, delved deep into concepts relating to calculus, algebra, arithmetic, geometry and trigonometry much before the Europeans. Vedic mathematics is a part of the same knowledge bank. Those living in colonial hangover believe that traditional Indian mathematics is unscientific by their standards. This is the very reason why the left liberal cabal of the Indian education system never allows Vedic mathematics to become a part of India's regular curriculum. But just because some people are parochial in their thinking, Indian students cannot be denied the genius of a knowledge base, which is a part of their culture and tradition. 